Are you tired of trying to keep track of all of your Trello cards across so many different boards? I hear people ask this a lot and wondering, how do I manage this on Trello? I have cards all over the place. How do I see what I need to do right now? In this video, I'm gonna show you how. First, a quick thanks to our sponsor for this video, Placker. It's an awesome power-up that helps you do so many cool things with your cards in Trello, one of which is actually helping you view your cards across multiple places, but it's so much more than that. We'll dive more into them in a second, but let's get started with native things in Trello that you can use to see all of your cards. First of all, I want to show you this view. I only discovered this recently, but if you go to trello.com slash you slash me slash cards, it's gonna redirect the URL to actually show you this. Check the description. You can click there from here. It doesn't matter if you're a free Trello user, a premium Trello user. It's gonna take you right to a page just like this where you can view all of your cards and you can sort them by different dates. You can filter them. And when you wanna actually go see a card, you can go click into it. It's almost kind of like table view, but just for your own cards. So it's really great. You can even change the list from here. So it's a nice, view for seeing all of your cards across all of your boards here on your computer. Another view, if you go to this URL, check the video description for this link. This is kind of a similar but different view where you can see all the cards you're affiliated with. And once again, you can add different filters, kind of sort by different things. You can look on specific boards and you can save searches. You can bookmark this URL, do whatever you need to with it. And it's gonna help you find what you need. You can then go straight to that card. One more view is workspace views. This is only available for premium Trello users, but if you are on a Trello premium plan, you can create workspace views, which lets you combine cards from multiple boards into either a table or calendar view. I find this really handy because this view shows me all of my cards across multiple boards plotted out by their due date. And again, I can filter by cards that are assigned to me or have a specific label or even in our in specific lists. For instance, maybe I only wanna see ones that are in to-do and not ones that are done or vice versa. So this is a really handy way to view all of that. And in each of these views that I've mentioned, you have different filters, different options for sorting. So you can kind of group these and view them in whatever way you need that makes the most sense for you. But if you wanna take it to the next level, you might actually be interested in checking out this week's sponsor, Placker. So Placker is a Trello power-up. You can get to it by going to power-ups, add power-up and searching for them, or you can just go to placker.com create an account there, connect your Trello account. It'll ask you which boards you wanna connect with. It's really a holistic power-up. And what I mean by that is it doesn't necessarily work for just one board. It can help really bring all of your boards together, which is why it's so useful if you're trying to see all of your cards in one place. For example, you can create board groups. And when you create a group, you can specify multiple boards that you want to be affiliated with that group. So you could have all of your work cards in one place and all of your personal cards in another place and create those groups to kind of let you toggle back and forth between them. Once you've created a group, you can view cards in that combined view. So for instance, I can see all of my cards together. I can see just mine. I don't have to make any filters. I can literally just see in this UI me versus my whole team. I can decide if I want to combine these and basically make it look like one really big board that brings in the list from all of them, or I can split it. So it shows me one board at a time and I can still have it all in one view, but have it a little bit separated. And if I don't want it all split out by boards, then I can go to combined and I can view these cards in so many different ways. For instance, I can see it as a planner so I can see what's coming up or I can see it grouped by something such as different members across all of these different boards. And there's so many different ways you can utilize this. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Placker does so much more. You have all sorts of different planning tools. You have Gantt, you have reports. It's really a project manager's dream. And even if you're not a project manager, but you're just wanting some more custom fields on your cards to help you plan your work more appropriately or be able to reflect on and report on what's actually working and what isn't, then you're gonna wanna check out Placker. Check the description for a link. And thank you so much, Placker, for sponsoring this video. So, okay, one more thing. I want to talk about Trello's uh, views on mobile because everything we've talked about so far about seeing all of your cards in one place, that works really well if you are on desktop. But how do you do this on mobile? So I'm going to show you. Let's go into the Trello app here. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to open the Trello app on your phone. I have an iPhone. I know Android has an app as well. It, your UI might look a little different, but you should have the same views here. So from this view in here, in the bottom left, you're gonna see a button called My Cards. Go ahead and click that. And once again, you might recognize this from your desktop view, but you can see all of these cards that you have and you can filter by, or sorry, sort by due date or by board, depending on how you want to organize and bring those things up. And you can even search for specific ones. Uh, I actually think this is really cool. You could also add a card from right at this view. Just click that top plus button and click create a card and you can specify by where you want it to go and give it whatever attributes you need. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that is how you can view all of your cards in one place on Trello. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it useful, please like and comment and subscribe. I know that sounds so cheesy and subscribe to my newsletter if you want more Trello tips and tricks and you'll find the links for all of these things mentioned in the video description here. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.